morning to all my name is Arpita Murthy, I am studying in 6th class B section. Good morning to everyone, my name is Siddha Fatima, I am studying in 6th class B section. We are from Shloka CBSE school. Our project name is Getting to know more about plants. So there are many types of plants. So now I am going to explain you about types of the plants. The plants are divided into the types of the plants by the categorization of their stems, by their height and by their branches. The there are four types of plants, herbs, shrubs, trees and vines. Now let me first explain you about the herb. Herbs are the plants which are usually small in size and have a green and tender stems. They may or may not have branches. These uh, herbs are the plants which um, like um, the tomato plant, um, potato plant comes under the category of the herb. Shrubs. Shrubs are the plants which are usually uh, they are uh, not so much big in size and have a, a green but not a very thick stem have the branches from the base. Examples are the um, examples are um, um, there are so many plants which are in the category of the herbs such as lemon, orange etc. Trees. Trees are the plants which are having a thick and brown stems and have the branches at the upper part much above the grounds. They are usually very big in size. Vines. These are examples of the trees are the mango, neem etc. Vines. Vines are also of two types, creepers and climbers. Climbers are the plants which have a very big stem and climb up by taking the support of the neighboring structure of plant. Example, <coughs> grape, wine, money plant etc. These are the parts of the plants. This is stem and which plant has the reticulate venation leaf that have the tap root and which have the uh, parallel venation leaf they have the fibrous roots these are the vines of the leaf these are the vines of leaf this is the midrib and this is the petiole and this is the leaf apex So this part is the upper part and it is called as the apex. And these are the vines. The vines are also of two types, reticular venation and parallel venation. Why there are two types? Because um, if we see this both leaves, we can find one difference. Here the veins are arranged like uh, opposite each other. Here they are parallel to each other. So this is called as a parallel venation leaf. And this is called as a reticular venation. have the tap roots which has one main root and some lateral roots which covers uh, lateral roots can also be called as small roots and but in these roots all the roots starts from one point so here the lateral roots also covers uh, the roots but here they have one main root and some lateral roots but here they start from the one point this can be seen in the grass plant uh, coconut tree plant tree etc these are the parts of the flower so these are the petals which are the uh, like a leaf but um, if they are colorful by to attract the insects for the process of pollination such as butterflies and the honeybees. Now if I break the petals, if I separate the petals, here we can see one uh, tube like structure. So this is called a um, bridge. Here we can see some yellow yellow color pigments, so they are called as stamens. And the yellow color parts are called as anther and there are some red like parts they are called as uh, uh, they are called as filament. Now let's know about the pistil. Uh, the process of pollination is 
pollen grains will go inside it and this is called as ovary and inside that there will be some egg like structures so these are called as ovary so this unfertilized if they are unfertilized they will become two seeds and if they are fertilized they can become into a fruit and in this the ovary is the outer part of the ovules and the ovules are the egg like parts so by this our explanation is complete and i hope that uh, we know about more about now plants thank you